Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the limited edition Van Leeuwen ice creams. These were $4.98 each at Walmart. We have the banana cream pie, Arizona green tea with honeycomb, uh, kiwi burst. Some key lime pie and tiramisu. Uh, these, there's also other ones. I've seen people post pictures of them, but they're not new. The, uh, there's uh, campfire s'mores. There's a peach and, and, a hot honey. and a hot honey. We've already reviewed those on the channel. So if you're curious about those flavors, just type in Tammy Dunn Van Leeuwen or Tammy Dunn uh, Van Leeuwen hot honey and it'll come up. Those reviews will come up. Uh, so we, um, this, we're gonna try the banana cream pie first. It is actually banana cream pie with fudge swirls, which sounds really good. Um, it says it's got banana ice cream. Uh, pie crust pieces and fudge swirls. Two and a half servings in the container, two thirds cup, 108 grams is 290 calories, or you can eat the entire 14 ounce container for 760 calories. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it's, it's only 14 ounces. You are not getting a full pint, uh, but these are sealed, which we like. And it looks like it has a good fudge swirl in mm -hmm. the top. Okay. I tell you what, you, when you're holding them, it's not very, it's not a heavy container. It's a 14 ounce yeah. container. It's just not very heavy. I tell you what, the swirls are ridiculous. You really There's taste. so much in there. Is there cinnamon in there? Mm -hmm. You really bad. taste banana. I wonder if there's cinnamon. Maybe in the pie pieces? It's good. There's cinnamon in something. That's really tiny. Mm. Um, yeah, cinnamon. Mm -hmm. You know if it's in there, I'm going to taste it. But I'm... I'm also the molasses. But, but I'm getting it. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm getting a touch of it, but... Most of the time, molasses is hidden, yeah. you know, if you're lucky. Um, I, for me, it's a it's a very banana cinnamon forward flavor. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Um, I got all the chocolate, too, though. You, it amazes me that they did not put cinnamon in the name because it is so strong. See, I don't, I don't think it's that strong. I do, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that was one of the first things that hit my tongue when I put it up, besides the banana. And it tastes like a, a really ripe banana. Yeah, not brown. I no. don't like brown bananas. Not brown, but it tastes really ripe, ready to eat, mm -hmm. very natural, yeah. not candy. I like it. Yeah, so if you don't like candy banana, this is this is nice. I'm wondering if the cinnamon's not coming from the pie pieces. Probably, and I don't mind it. I don't have anything against it, I was just not expecting it. Right. I was expecting banana and chocolate, yeah. or fudge swirls. I was not expecting to get any cinnamon whatsoever in that. Right. Um, so it was just a surprise. Okay. Very good. I like it. I would eat that anytime. So this is the Arizona green tea with honeycomb. Uh, let's see. I'm getting through all the, the stuff. Um, all the hot words. I, yeah, really. It's um, green tea and ginseng and honeycomb candy. See how easy I made that? 270 calories for two thirds cup or 720 for the container. And this is a different, I don't know why. It's like they're made in different factories. Hmm. Yeah, some of them are clear, some of them are paper. It's like a different machine. It's, yes, it's very bizarre. Um, I tell you, uh, I will not complain about a, a, light, a cover over it, but the other ones are easier to get off. I'll just say that. It's, um, and this is definitely green. Uh, we've had these laying out for a little while. Yeah, they've been, they've been laying out. There's nothing wrong with them, but they've been laying out. Yeah, I, I would rather have it soft. I think you took most of the container. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I see the honeycomb pieces. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're like a little brown. Okay. Yuck. I wasn't for sure. No, it's yuck. What I was getting. It's yuck. It's um, 
Tastes like I went out in the backyard and picked grass. Now I feel differently. Oh I was afraid it was gonna be that way. Well, it's something very like natural, very, I don't like it at all. Now see, I really like it. Mm -hmm. It tastes like green tea. It, that's what you get. You do get the honeycomb pieces are very, very crunchy. They're very crunchy, crispy, but they're sweet. small. Mm -hmm. um, so no, that's a hundred percent the green tea is what I don't like. And you know what? I think it works. I absolutely, I, I like it a lot. Um, Way too uh, nature, organic, um, grassy. It's too grassy for you. Yeah, it's too too fresh for me. <laughs> and you know, it's not a flavor I would choose all the time because it does taste like green tea. But I, there's enough sweetness there for me and enough it creaminess. Is. It's very creamy. That I really enjoy it. I don't like it. It works for me. I'd much rather have that than that Hidden Valley Ranch they came out with. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Like, there's, I mean, no doubt. Uh, this is the Kiwi Burst. I like Kiwi. It is sweet ice cream with swirls of Kiwi. 250 calories for two thirds cup or 660 for the container. That's the lowest one. Yeah, I think this is the yeah, lowest one is. so far. Yeah. I mean, it is the lowest one, period. Oh, it's the lowest one out of all five okay. of them. Okay. Ooh. How much to see? Well, there's a little piece there's here. Little, I've got something here. There's some green in there, but. Yeah, you get the like, a little. Oh, it's got a swirl of green. Yes. Looks like it's got a. I won't say what it looks like. <laughs> we won't say what that looks like. Hmm. It's very earthy too. You know, it um, it tastes very fresh. Yeah, but normally I really like kiwi. Yes. That's very, um, I don't know. Mm. It's a little too much for me. I think it's very creamy. I love the ice cream. Yeah, I like, it, I like the ice cream. It does taste like a fresh, very fresh kiwi. I, I could absolutely eat that. <laughs> yeah, see, to, um, yeah. I'm, I'm, all these uh, super um, strong, like or natural flavors are too much for me. It is earthy. It is it is strong, but um, and I like the kiwi, and Agreed. it tastes like a real kiwi. It tastes very very natural. It does taste it like just, kiwi, but it's it's it's. It doesn't taste like candy. It's very, very sweet. Like I said, I like kiwi. I, I really do enjoy kiwi. That one's very green tasting. If kiwi usually is a like a mix of a strawberry and banana kind of flavor. I don't get any of that. I don't get a mixture of strawberry and banana, but it, I think it tastes delicious. Actually, if I had to choose between the kiwi or the tea, I, I like them both, but I would get the tea. I would get one of those. Okay, this is key lime pie, and it is uh, key lime ice cream made even gooder with pieces of graham cracker crust. Um, so, 290 calories for two thirds cup, or 760 for the container. And there's a lot going on here. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of, of graham cracker here, which I, I like to see that. I like to see a good pie crust. Yes, we, oh wow. Yeah, this is exciting. Okay. That one must not been as soft. No, it's. Well, I can smell. I can smell the key lime. You you can absolutely smell that. It's very uh, smells very strong. Hmm. I can picture that in a pie. Tell you what, there's some bitterness there, though. I got floral. I could kind of see that. It. Yeah, the aftertaste, especially. Yes. Yeah. When you're eating it, you get key lime. Mm -hmm. But it's after when it's in your mouth and it's just sitting there. That flavor is sitting the after on your tongue. Um, it it comes across as almost a baby powder, like a a, a powder. A little bit of floral. Um, now, see, for me, I do not like that. 
Mm. And uh, the uh, pieces, I like the, I like the piece while you're eating. The it. graham cracker pieces are very, very soft, mm. um, and that kind of blows it for me too because um, I want cr crispy or at least halfway more dense a graham cracker. That is a very, it's like mush. It's very, very soft. Yeah, I don't get the really, I mean, it's soft, but it's, it's soft. It doesn't seem that soft to me, but I do agree with you, the aftertaste is kind of. The aftertaste is like grandma's powder that she's putting on after her bath. I do not like that. Yeah, no. it's, mm -mm. it's not put up there. No, um, it's, uh, it's not great. <laughs> no, I liked it while right. I was eating it. While I was eating it, I did actually like the key lime. Flavor. I guess then, if you just keep eating it, yeah. you, it won't get to that point. But then, but it, you just wait till you get done. It hits you with that really strong, bitter flavor. This is tiramisu. It is uh, coffee and vanilla ice cream with chocolate chips mm -hmm. and some cake pieces. 280 calories for two thirds cup, or 750 for the entire container. Okay, so there's going to be cake pieces, there's going to be chocolate chips, lots of stuff. Okay, this one is softer, which is fine. Ooh, looks like you got some chocolate chips in there. Mm, smells like coffee. Ooh, it does smell really good. That smells really nice. Are we focus? Mm -hmm. Anytime I hold the thing up to the camera, we have to make sure it comes back and focus. Oh, wow. Ooh, I want to get a cake piece because those are different. All right, let's see cake in here. It's not like cake in other ice creams we've had. Um, I like the cake pieces in Blue Bunny. Hmm. They're really dense, yeah, uh, very this compact. Is this is soft. It's soft, but it's still got a little bit of a chew to it. So it's not like mushy like the, like you were saying with the other one. I love that. I like the coffee flavor. Mm -hmm. It tastes like coffee. It tastes like very strong coffee that's been sitting around for a while in the pot. But they put cream and sugar in it. Yes, but it's very, very sweet. So uh, I think it has a great flavor. Mm -hmm. um, they could have left the cake pieces out. They could have left the cake. I don't think they needed to add the cake pieces. I don't think they should have put the cake pieces in It doesn't do anything all. for them. No. it. No, I completely agree. I do like the little bit of chocolate chip because mm -hmm. it does have a nice. texture. Yeah. But the cake pieces absolutely did nothing for it. It just added something that ne didn't need to be there at mm -hmm. all. It's, it added a kind of a mushy cake yeah. kind of texture. And it, it didn't add any flavor. Yeah. I mean, because the, the the coffee is the strongest flavor in here is mm -hmm. that coffee. And you do get a um, touch of the van uh, vanilla too. That's why it makes it seem like it's creamer coffee. Yes. Yeah. No, I agree. That's good. That's my second favorite. That's your second favorite. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to say this one is my first favorite. Out oh, of really? these five, this is my number yeah. one. Oh, yeah. These yeah. Five. My, the, my number one is the banana. I really like the banana. Okay. Um, and that's my number, the coffee's my number two. I'm going to say um, the coffee, uh, what are they calling it? Tiramisu. Yeah. Tiramisu. Well, that's why they put it's cake coffee. pieces in I there. I know, but it's Because I'm not thinking, oh, this is supposed to be tiramisu. Well, it no, still would have represented that. tiramisu okay. without the cake pieces. It would have. I think it would have. Um, the tiramisu is number one. And then I'm going to pick, uh, out of these, I'll pick the green tea as number two. <laughs> these yeah. are actually the only two I would actually eat out of these five. Um... I would never eat that. Um, I would not eat the key lime again. I didn't mind the key lime except it, it tastes like you're eating the, the outside of the lime, like the peel. It's just, just too bitter. And the me. banana, I wouldn't choose the banana either just because it had cinnamon in yeah, it. Exactly. And I don't want cinnamon in my banana. Mm -hmm. I want banana. Banana and the fudge it kinda reminded okay, me. But the banana reminded me of, when you're saying cinnamon, it kind of reminded me of, uh, like I'm eating it with a graham cracker. It's It's... I was fine with it. Yeah, I just don't eat banana with a graham cracker. That's ju I just don't do that. So it, it was unexpected. Right. Um, if they had warned me about it, then I would have been okay with it. Uh, but yeah, these uh, they have these, plus they have the other ones, like I told you, other ones plus more uh, that we have already reviewed on the channel. Uh, so you just have to go in there and pick what you like best. I will tell you, there are they're like five dollars a piece at Walmart. You go to Whole Foods and they're more like eight dollars a piece for the exact same brand. Um, 
And so you should get what you can get in Walmart because it's you're literally paying three dollars more just to buy them in a different store, and there's absolutely no reason to do that. And if you're looking for them in Walmart, we've never seen them in the actual aisle. No, They're always on the ends of the freezers. Yeah, so it's always we'll check the ends of your freezer aisle because I, I don't think I've almost I don't think I've ever seen these in the actual aisle. No, not the limited edition mm -hmm. ones. It's like they have to put them in a special place. Yeah, they don't want to make room for them on the shelf because yeah. they're not. Not going to be a right yeah they always way. stick them on the ends yeah so i will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching